Hi you guys, are you ready to do some baking? Nugget is here with me and we are going to be making some unicorn Rice Krispie treats and uh, Nugget absolutely loves Rice Krispies and when I start making them uh, she'll be eating them because she's very naughty, she's a very very naughty bird so you've got to tell her to be quiet, say Nugget be quiet, make sure that there are no adults uh, doing this, you can get them to supervise to make sure that you don't burn yourself but just be careful um, and make sure first of all that you've washed your hands. The first thing that we're going to be doing is shush, you can't be doing this bit, you have to wait. Um, you're going to be needing some unicorn sprinkles or any other sprinkles, it really doesn't matter. You're going to be needing some marshmallows, oh, squiggy. you're going to be needing some oil, it doesn't have to be in a jug, it can be in a bottle, it's just easier in a jug. And I've also got some Rice Krispies in a bowl. You guys don't need to use a um, scales for this. We are going to be using a mug. Any size mug, it really doesn't matter. I've just got this size mug. So, the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting my marshmallows into my cup. So I've got a pair of scissors. Cut the top off. I don't know if, if uh, Nugget likes marshmallows. We have a seat. Do you like marshmallows? Yes, she likes marshmallows as well, but she's not having them. So, we are going to be putting... Let me just move my bowl do, 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 very quickly. Um, we're going to be putting the marshmallows into the cup. And we want two cupfuls of marshmallows. So that's one. Fill it right the way up to the top. And we need to put it into a jug. We need to put it into a jug or a glass bowl or something that we can put in the microwave. Because I've got my microwave here and we're going to be using that. So you don't have to cook it on the stove or anything. So that's the first one. And then we want another one. So that's number two. And if you want to eat these afterwards, then you can. I give you permission. Just don't eat them all at once. So that goes into there as well. And we're going to put these in the microwave. But we're not going to turn it on yet. Not yet. The next thing we're going to do is get our big bowl back. And we are going to shush. You can join in and eat Rice Krispies in a second. Just shush. So we now need three cupfuls of Rice Krispies. And yesterday I had to cook these in the oven because they were all stale. Okay. So we've got one big cupful of Rice Krispies. Whoop a daisy. Two big cupfuls of Rice Krispies. Three big cupfuls of Rice Krispies. The rest of them, should we give one to Nugget? Because she really does like these. Let's give one to Nugget. There you go. Oh, yes. Munchy, munchy, munchy. If I put her on this bowl now, she would eat them all. She would actually jump in the bowl. Look, she'd eat all of those on her own. But we're not going to. So, we've got our marshmallows in there. We've got, uh, no, we've got our Rice Krispies in there. We've got our marshmallows in the microwave. So, I'm going to turn it on now. You're going to need a spatula to get this out with and possibly a spoon because you'll need to stir it. So let's give this a go and I'm going to put it on for 30 seconds to start off with and then we'll see where it goes. But it might not need the full 30 seconds and all we're doing is melting it. So I'm going to check in a few seconds to see where it's got to. Oh, no. So we give them a little mix and put them back into the microwave. So we'll count to ten. One, two, a three, a four, five, six, a seven, eight, nine, and ten. And open it back up again. Oh, I can feel that they're getting a little bit softer. They're starting to stick to my spoon now and going all squeegee. So we're going to give this another ten seconds. It's very messy, I will warn you. So we're going to count to ten again. One, two, three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, an eight, a nine, and a ten. Let's see where we got to. Oh, oh, they're all sticking together now. And to me, ook. Ha ah, ha ha, she's tickling the back of my neck. She's very naughty. She really is digging in the back of my neck. Okay, I think this needs another 10 seconds and I think we're done. 
So one last time of counting to ten. One, two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, eight, nine. What? Ooh. Yeah. Can you see now? All of my marshmallows have all melted. Now I'm using a handle on the side of my bowl and it does get a little bit warm. So if you haven't got a jug with a handle on, then you're gonna need to use a cloth to do this bit. All right, get it out with a cloth in the microwave. And what we need to do now is we need to get all of this gloopy, melted marshmallow into our bowl. And it's really sticky and gooey and gloopy and delicious. A nugget definitely wants to join in, but she's not. She's a very naughty bird. She was eating my breakfast this morning. I was trying to eat my omelette with onions and peppers in it and drink my coffee, and she wouldn't let me. She kept on drinking and eating with me. So, we're now gonna mix this up together. Or oh, two jobs. So use your spoons and get it all mixed in. Squidge it about the place. It's great fun. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that the marshmallow covers all of those Rice Krispies. You don't want any that are separate. And it is best to use two things because then you can mix it up really, really well. Uh-oh, here she comes. She wants to eat the, the Rice Krispies. No, you can't eat the Rice Krispies. Look, I'll give you a separate one in a minute. Okay, we're nearly there. We've nearly got all of these mixed in. If you do have a few left, it really doesn't matter, but try and get as many as you can mixed in. And then we're gonna stick them into a tin. And we need to oil the tin, otherwise it's gonna stick. And we're gonna get this into the tin with our hands as well. So you are gonna get sticky fingers. Okay, so. We've just about got all of our Rice Krispies all mixed in. And it looks really good. A nugget is going, oh, I'm gonna eat all of that. Ugh. Right, so what I'm gonna do now, tip those few in, I'm going to put a little bit of oil, just a little bit, into the tin and a little bit onto my hands. Because this makes it easier. So squidge them, which is why you needed to wash your hands earlier. Squidge them and then wipe all of that oil all the way around the tin, just like that. Okay, so make sure that you get it all up the sides and then you're going to get the marshmallow out using, turn yourself around. You're going to use your hands to get all this marshmallow out and put it into the bowl. And it is very sticky, but it's really good fun. So use your hands and pick it up because it's not hot now, you're, you're okay. And you're going to squash it. Let me just turn that around so you can see it. Get some more up. And you're going to squash it into the tin using your hands. Squash it down. I'm not going to use all of my tin. Can you see I've got that? But it won't matter. So once you've got it nice and squashed, You shouldn't have any in your hands. I've only got a little tiny bit. You're going to get some sugar sprinkles and you're going to sprinkle them all the way over the top before it sets. So give it lots and lots and lots. And then push it down again. And that way the sugar sprinkles will stick to the top of your Rice Krispie Treat. Okay, we want lots on there. We want lots of unicorn magic. And once you're done, it should look like that. Okay, well, you're going to put this in the fridge now and you're going to let it set for about half an hour. You've got to wait. You can't eat it yet. You could do, but you're not going to. And then you can cut it up into bars and then you can eat it. And you might let your mums and your dads and your aunts and your uncles eat it. But I wouldn't. I would eat it all myself because it's delicious. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye bye from me and Nugget. Say bye bye Nugget. <laughs>